I have a new TV show on Newsmax TV on Saturdays at 7.30. Tune in. You'll enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm in an airport lounge. We get the people walking behind me. Something strange happened in Washington this week. The congressional Republicans in the House and the Senate ended their spineless, subservient, kowtowing to Biden's agenda and actually grew a backbone of their own. Biden was trying to jam through aid to Israel with conditions that basically required Israel to stop fighting Hamas and give them a bombing pause, give them uh, an end to the blockade, and basically do whatever Hamas wanted in return for increased aid to Israel. Biden also wanted to, uh, to give another blank check to Ukraine, and the Republicans fought back and said, not only won't we do those, but we also insist on greater border security before we'll vote the $100, million, $100 billion of spending that Biden wanted. This sent tremors throughout Washington because it really showed the Republican Party was beginning to stand firm, probably a result of the increased strength Donald Trump is showing in the polls and the fact that with the retirement of Bill Manchin after the session, the Republicans are assured of a Senate majority if Trump is elected. That's changed the political calculus in Washington and moved significantly to the right. And it's very good to see the Republicans stand up to Biden and refuse to pass his spending package with the conditions he has attached. 